Hi, and thank you for joining me for this NovaCore training session. In this session, we're going to have a look at templates, how to edit templates, create templates, apply them, and some of the fields that you can use within templates to make your document controlling a lot easier. Okay, you may have come across the template section in more than one area of Nova Core 3. For instance, under Tools Config, you've got the Template Manager, which will show you all of your templates. But if you choose a framework in particular, such as the SNR, which I'm going to choose, you actually have the template section here, which shows you all the framework specific templates that you have. I'm going to explain to you exactly what this means. Okay, there are two types of templates in NovaCore. There are global templates, which are templates that you can use no matter what framework you're in. So if you're in the DMS, the SNR, maybe you're in the AQTF, Cryocos, GTO, or any of your frameworks that you've created, you will see these global templates. But you may want to create templates for a framework in in mind. So You've got the SNR here and you want SNR only templates. You may want Krikos only templates. So framework specific templates. And then what you would do is place those templates in the framework specific section and you would be able to apply those to your documentation. First section we're gonna look at is the actual template manager, which is under tools and config and then template manager. When it brings it up, you can see we're split into two sections global templates at the top and we have framework specific at the bottom. We can choose which framework we want to specify the particular template to and we've got SNR as default and at the moment we've only got one global template. We're going to have a look at this global template and we're going to revise it and what you can say is you can either revise an existing template if there are some there or you can create a new one and creating a new template is really easy. All you do is click the plus button here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do to make it a little bit clearer, I'm actually going to remove this template and I'm going to create a brand new global template and then also a framework specific one just so you can see how easy it is to create a template. Okay, so I'm going to click the plus button which is going to give me the create a new global template pop-up dialog box. Here I can call this my standard template and I want it to be an MS Word document, okay? So a Word document that I can apply this template to other Word documents that are either already in the system or that I'm going to bring into the system via import and I can then apply this template to make them all conform. Conformity is one of the main reasons that you, you would use templates so that all of your documents have the same header, have the same footer, maybe have your company logo at the top. So and also all your revision control information in the footer as well. The revision control information is automatic, so we can insert fields to make sure that those footers update automatically without having to touch them and alter them every time a document changes. That's what makes applying templates really, really easy. We're going to call this standard template and we're going to click create. Okay, so I've actually deleted the standard template. So after I've clicked create, you'll see that it opens up Microsoft Word because that's the template we want to create. Now creating a template, really easy. I'm going to double click on the header section here and I'm going to place in my company logo. Now you don't have to do it the way I'm showing you. This is a pure example. Okay. So here I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to grab a picture and I'm going to grab my company logo. So I'm going to scroll down until I'm pretty happy with the logo that I've got. And there it is. So I'm going to just make that a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make some adjustments to it. So I might place it there. And now that's going to be the header on all of my documents that I want to apply it to. Okay, well now when double clicking the header, it also brings up the footer information. Now what I want to do is I want to place some revision control information in the footer so that I can refer to it every time I look at my documents. So for instance, I want to have something like review date, the date that the document was reviewed. Now, 
When we're in Word and opening an overcall document or any real uh, section of the Office suite and we have an overcall document open, if we go to the Insert tab, you're now going to see two fields. Insert Custom field and Insert Revision field. Insert Custom field allows me to insert any fields that I want to uh, add that are custom fields that I have filled in. But the one we really want to look at is Insert Revision fields. These are the fields that allow me to insert revision information into my footer. I'm placing it in the footer, but you can place revision field information in the body of the document if you choose to. Okay, so review date is uh, what I wanted to put here. So revision date was. That's the, the, the date that I reviewed the document right there. So instead of physically writing the date in, what I've done is I've inserted that field so that it changes automatically every time that I want to make a change to a document, alter the revision number, anything like that, or even if I've changed the review date, this will change automatically for me. Okay, so I'm going to tab across and I'm also going to insert next review date. And I'm going to insert my field next to that. So up to the revision control field again, next review date, it's in a year's time, tab across. And I'll also uh, place in another one, maybe I'll say, oops, revision number. And we'll place in the revision number there. And then what we can do is we can go down to the next line and we can insert some more fields such as document name. So that is right here. So it's standard 01, but that will change every time we apply it to a new template. We can also insert approved by. So the person that approved this document. And then we can also insert one final field, which we can insert maybe a created by, maybe a document number, revision date. I have in there already. I've also got my revision number, its next review date, and maybe we'll place in who it was created by. Or even the approval date, actually. That's good there. So we'll place the approval date field in. And you can see approved by an approval date are blank because they haven't yet been approved. I'm going to actually make these smaller now, so I'm going to bring the text down to about 8. And then what I can do, is now I've got my revision information in the footer. I'm going to actually bring this footer down and make it a little bit smaller because I want to actually push it closer to the bottom. And there we go, my template's completed. So now every time I apply this to a document, it's going to place the the heading at the top, so my, my logo, and it's going to replace the footer at the bottom with all my revision control information that will always update on its own. Okay, so I'm going to save that one, which I've done. I can even go to File and Save as Complete, and you'll now see that I can approve this particular document here. And that is now approved. So now that my template is approved, I can now start applying that to any document that I import or any existing document in the system. And you can now see how these revision control fields work. So because it's a global template, it's going to show up in every framework, no matter where I am. Okay. If I wanted it to show up in the SNR only, okay, I would do exactly the same but just choose the SNR framework underneath here. So template specific to SNR, choose the plus, and now here's my new SNR template. Maybe I can call this one SNR template. So now I have two templates that are ready to go. I have my SNR template, and I have my standard template. My standard is in global, my SNR template is for SNR only. So if I went to the Crycos section, for instance, and went to templates, the templates would be blank because there is no Crycos templates. If I went to the SNR, you would see that I have my SNR template there. Okay? So let's go into the SNR 
and let's go to the policy section and let's choose one of the policies that we have inside of Novacore. So I'm going to choose the work health and safety policy and I'm going to choose to edit that document. That document's now open and now under templates here on the left hand side you'll see that there is two in my drop down list because I'm in the SNR the SNR template is one of them and also my standard template which is a global template so I'm actually going to choose my global template standard and click apply and now you're going to see in front of our eyes it's changed it to my logo and it's import imported my footer and it's automatically updated all the information for me in the footer so the review dates changed it's given me the correct document name the next review the revision number and the approval date now if I was to approve this document it would fill in those two fields approval by and approval date automatically and I've now applied a template to my document and it's that simple okay these revision control fields can be inserted in the body of a document as well but it's actually better off to insert those within the footer just so you can have revision control information now I'm going to show you how to apply a template on import of a document it's pretty much the same principle and you can apply any template that you've created uh, on an imported document even if it doesn't have any templates and it'll put the revision information in the footer that we've made on our template and our uh, logo at the top in as well also just a, a reminder that if you do have templates and they're not showing up in this drop down list here it could be one of three things uh, one could be that you have actually created a template in a framework specific um, the framework specific section and you're in a different framework so therefore only the SNR template is going to show up for SNR documentation um, the other thing is you haven't hit the refresh button here there's a refresh just next to the template you want to hit, click that one and it will refresh all your templates and the most common one that we get will be the third one which is the templates not approved only approved templates will show up in this template drop down list okay so I've applied my template I'm just going to save that and exit and now I'm going to apply a template on import so let's go now to tools config import and we're going to import to the SNR and we're going to choose next we're going to grab a document and we're going to go next and now you can see that I've got my document name revision classification template is one of them here now I can place in standard 01 template because it's one of my global templates I can click next and next and it's now applying the template once the templates applied it's happy it's given us a green tick and we click finish so now you can see my documents been imported I right click go to edit and this document will now have my template there may be a little bit of readjusting that you can do to the template if you want but it has the template attached including all my revision information in the footer at the bottom and it's all been updated okay if you do not replace revision information or place revision information or any of the control fields into your footer or the body of your your document those fields will not update automatically so remember the custom fields and revision fields can be placed in the footer or the body of your document and they will update automatically so that is basically how you use templates within Novacore CMS. If you'd like some more information on other training sessions available, please head to www.youtube.com forward slash Novacore systems or you can head to our website which is www.novacore.com.au.